Welcome back to Trauma Team! Let's solve the case. Let's solve the case! Well, we need to learn more stuff, but then we'll get to solving the case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Today we're heading to Veronica's room. This is the room where the victim stayed. Maybe we can get some extra clues as to what might have happened. I mean, she didn't live too far from where the incident happened, so... Oh, this is so... adorable if it wasn't sad. Yeah. It's a typical room, all that. I, I love these. I am yes. taking... I am taking these. Uh, what's up with the mirror here? Huh. Well, first... It's an ordinary package of breath mints. You can get them anywhere. Still. Uh, let's see, let's get some breath mints. I want to eat some Altoids, and uh, mm, these yep. aren't Altoids at all. These aren't mints in here. Either that, or it's like those candy cigarettes, you know, Altoids it, that look like uh, benzos. It's a good thing we actually these checked because we really wanted a breath mint. This medication was produced Damn. for a pharmacy. I might be able to ask the little guy to find yep. out just Yep, let's see what she was taking. Yeah, don't make any assumptions. Uh, what's going on here? What's going on down here? These pieces of glass seem to have come from a mirror. <gasps> hmm. Uh, let's see. Probably uh, that one. Uh, ah, the uh, mirror on the dresser's no. been broken. I wonder what happened to it. Just checking! Aha! Hmm. Broken. Hmm? A reaction to the luminous. Somebody got it hurt on the mirror. There's something here that isn't part of the broken mirror. There's something that isn't part of the broken mirror here. What could it be? Ah, oh, looky yes. there! Her other it's earring. It's the same earring that the man who had found the body had stolen. But what would this <sighs> no. be doing here? It was swept up with the glass. It was from the mirror universe! universe. In opposite land, I was the victim. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Oh Indeed. my god, you All have a long nose. As a doctor, you save end. many patients. That means but that maybe you should save someone shots. who cannot be saved. We they call a guest like you Patient Zero. Infinite mm, possibilities. We was give you the fool the card. What? Oh, broken? come on. <laughs> Hmm. You slipped on a banana peel. Yeah, Welcome to the mirror universe. There must be blood on the ceiling. It was either ripped from her ear, yeah, tells us anything. or she got hurt while wearing it. You wear earrings like that. It's not because you just got them pierced. Yeah. You'd be, you'd be doing more than just bleeding a little bit, you know, in one little tiny drop. If you had, if you going down, we would see it on her clothes. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Okay. Da, 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 da. Is there anything in the dresser? Uh, I think we're done. Yeah, we got uh, to the office. To the office then. Oh. Uh, we've received the interview with the truck driver from the accident. Huh. All right. How did he seem? It's easy to sympathize with him. Sounds like a case of wrong time, wrong place. I see. All right, I'll check the recorder. So it's the driver of uh, it over to you. D well, well, I'm the, the truck's hit her. Let's just uh, let, let's let him let him speak for himself. Account of what happened before and after the accident, what Veronica was doing prior to being hit. She was already afterwards. dead. That's what I should be sure to listen for. All right, got the driver's account. Let's see. Got Veronica before the accident, and what did you do afterwards? After. Very specific. Okay, let's take a listen. Witness D, listen to testimony. Veronica before the accident. We're gonna focus on what she was like before then. So, take it away! What do you want? I didn't do anything. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I think it works for the same company as the guy from Mezzi 2. It, guy with the hamburger. I, I was, uh, mm. supposed to drive a ship Maybe he's a AM town. shift, he's PM shift. Oh, she was dead! It's not my fault! I turned a corner, and she was lying on the bridge. Gotcha! She was sleeping on the bridge? Oh. If this man was telling the truth, then the victim had already collapsed there from the start. She was already collapsed. It doesn't seem like he was lying, but what in the world does this mean? Well, it means that things are about to get a lot darker real fast. All right, now let's listen to what he has to say about what he did afterwards. Skip ahead a little bit. It's not my fault. 
Wait, why? Stop it's the same thing. I turned a corner, oh. And she was lying on the bridge. Oh, it's... I, I, I get you, I get you. Bridge, but now we're looking at it with a different context. And I ran all over. I got out of the truck to see it. She, she wasn't breathing. I panicked. And I threw her off the bridge. I don't know why. It, it's just... Well, now we know how, she, how her skull got shattered, I bet. Hmm. So, she wasn't breathing after this being run over. The victim wasn't knocked off the bridge by being struck by a vehicle. So, so look at where we saw the tire tracks on her legs. Did he veer? They're on the back of her legs, right? Which, Which means, means she was laying flat. She was lying face down. Not sleeping, definitely. Uh, uh, I think uh, Nescodamus called it early. Something, something's going on yeah, here. Yeah, let's go, let's go. All right, let's see what we can get through Oh, here. uh, medicine. The secondary. Hey, Take a look guy. at that, will ya? I need you to analyze something. Get some, get some blood, sure, uh, blood works or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. There's blood on it. The DNA matches Hell yeah. the as well. There we go. Also, this metal fitting seems warped. Could it be worn out from use? It's an earring. Mm -hmm. Doesn't seem to be the case. Look at little guy, come on. Oh, oh, oh. It's not on the ornament. It's on the needle part that goes through the ear. If there's blood there that matches the victim, then the earring was The murder <laughs> Veronica stabbed herself. It was ripped out of her ear. Yes, it was. Ouch. I've never had that happen, but uh, well, I'll not, no. If that's that's going case, through a lot the of flesh. Makes sense. I think I might switch to uh, non-hoop earrings for a little bit after today. To I thought you were about to say clip-on earrings. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yet. No more tearing skin Still, that gives me the heebie-jeebies. connection to everything else here. I think this Being a doctor's gross. Some more concrete evidence. Especially one that investigates murders. Uh, medicine. All right, the unknown medication. Hey, little guy. I need you to analyze this medication. He goes, let me check. Ooh, Altoids! Mm. <laughs> Little guy, no! Uh, uh. That's right. He's it foaming at the like mouth, but it still smells like Altoids. What is it? Hi, I'm Big Guy. I'll fill in while he's going through this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what you need, Doc? I'd suspect that this would have to be prescribed by a doctor before someone can buy it. So they were high narcotics. Ones you actually have to get permission to buy. It's, it's prescribed, which means it's... I see, that makes sense. Wait, it's regular this medication? Yeah. the victim had attended a hospital. Huh. It, it was from a hospital. Suffering from some kind of injury? Or, hmm. If our analysis... Maybe she was going to rehab. Find something else. And this was to get her off the bad stuff. Well, we gotta... We, we can't make assumptions. Gotta find more evidence. I know, I know. Evidence says everything here. So, earring torn off plus missing True. earring. Well, Both that's what happened there. They connect each the other. Earrings. We got it! The victim was and then a magician comes in and goes, Watch me put these things together! Get out of here, Victor. Uh, and the other I, one I just wanted to show. Okay. Not today, Victor, I'm working. Oh. I got it, I got it, bye. Normally, if someone had an earring torn off to the point that it caused bleeding, they would have to realize that something was wrong. No. Still, the victim was on a bridge eight kilometers away from her home. Oh. What this shows is that. She lost the earring before she went eight kilometers away. She, she was, was taken, taken by, by force. force. Solid. And all of that came from... I couldn't sell That's the right. earrings because they weren't a she pair. She didn't leave this room by her own wish. Should have kept she it anyway. I would never have found this. Mm -hmm. someone else. That could explain how one of the earrings was left in the room. Might explain the pinky breaking too. But Fingers break all the time when you try to move corpses. I should her. know. Because I played this game. Yep, yep. We played the last case, right? <laughs> right? That was right? it. That was it. Say sight! On a bridge, <laughs> My finger hurts. Away. <sighs> I feel like Another explanation. Oh, yeah, I break my pinky all the time. I just want to see what it feels like. Uh, oh. Dr. Kimishima, the results of the analysis on the corpse have come back. Hmm, good. Did they find anything new? Um, it looks that way. The report indicates that the fractures to the femurs and skull... They were all posthumous injuries. Aha! Uh -huh. So these wounds were infected. Uh -huh. How about yes, that? She says. died at her home. Hmm. Postmortem fracture. Things are starting to come together a little bit, didn't they? So wouldn't that mean posthumous fractures along with the collapsed girl, maybe? 
Hmm. Uh, or yes. putting both, both of his testimonies together, yeah. If I were to sum up the driver's account prior to the accident, the victim was... Oh, I'm liking this. Yeah, she was good. crying. <laughs> she was lying, lying on the, on the ground, ground. Yes. yes. Like I mentioned we're, earlier. We're running in the road. <laughs> right. Just got to get my the jogging in at been 10 p.m. at night. And after he ran her over, the driver... Started crying. I mean... Called the police. Over the bridge. Obviously. Yes. Call the hospital. He what do I do if I run over a woman? Bitch. Toss that bitch over! Okay, no, thank guy. you. What's the FBI's opinion about this? He's already admitted to killing her. Why would he lie about that? Indeed. Mm, because he probably- he, did, he didn't know that defense. she was already dead by the time he ran her over. I mean, it's a safe assumption if you run somebody over with your ten-wheeler, they're most likely dead. Well, if she had been Just standing, fine him and the put him on probation or something like that. He'll- he, he, he's fine. Strong impact from one certain direction. Put him in the same room as a nun and a ruler and see if he comes out alive. I see. What about the shattered skull, then? The skull fractures are consistent with a strong impact to the top of the head. It would yeah, be unnatural top for it to have been due to a car accident. So, yeah, no tire. Considering Her head wasn't run over. It's not like crushed. You would have seen, like, stress yeah. fractures and, right, right, right. and things that would probably that attribute to that. So, specifically, she was bludgeoned over the head. She was thrown oh. off the bridge. That did it. Yes. If she was unconscious the force when she did fell it. from the bridge, the fracture due to an impact to the top of the skull is understandable. I see. That's a lot to understand! It does make more sense. Yes. However, that raises questions about the victim herself. How did she die? Why in the world was this woman so far from home? And why would she be lying in the middle of a bridge in the mountains at that time of night? Hmm. That's a valid point. So there's still there's plenty still to answer here. here. We haven't found an M.O. No! Indeed. We haven't. We'll have to continue investigating. We don't even have any people of, 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 of interest. We got the truck driver, but all he did was run her over and then toss her overboard. Yeah, that's all. That's it. Oh. <laughs> oh! Speak, boy. Oh, Dr. Kimishima, we were able to look into the parents' injuries. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes, there were records that the parents had been going to a hospital, like you said. Yes. Looks like started being frequent visitors to the hospital two months ago. Hmm. How many times is frequent? Once a day. Oh, we didn't check every detail, but it was several times, ending about a month ago. The hospital staff seemed worried, since many of the injuries seemed to be signs of abuse. Hmm. Hmm. Did they tell the doctors who had been physically assaulted? Their daughter. No, they didn't. However, some of their injuries were quite severe. Now it's coming into focus. Hmm. The mother seemed to have suffered some visual impediments due to a wound on her eye. Mm hmm. They had finally had enough and did away with their own daughter, been who had been abusing them. Hmm. Now a more sinister picture is coming to yeah. light. Yeah. Is it? Remember what her last words were. <laughs> this is about to get dark. Yep. Quick. Yep. Uh, yep. 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 Uh. All right. Next up, uh, we'll take a look at this prescribed medication. Yeah. Uh, what'd you find? Adderall. Who Who wrote this prescription? Who 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 gave her dim drugs and midweek like like oh, by the way, yeah? Kimishima, about is it oxy? Hmm. Did you find something out? Yes, we found which hospital the victim had been going to and requested her charts. It says Veronica had been to the hospital a month prior to her death. Hmm. Oh, really? Her symptoms were migraines, visual and auditory hallucinations, mood swings, and aggression. Ooh. It also says she was vomiting blood and had convulsions, along with hemoptysis. Uh, wow! Now this is just the golden blood. piece of evidence, isn't it? Yes, that's what it says. The doctors urged her to have more detailed examinations. Oh. But it seems that she had no intention of listening to them. The hospital and whatever disease she had so she was her. dying if only her doctor had forced her to be hospitalized that's just how things are these days oh god i hope it's not one I of our doctors that we get to play as oh i hope not let's continue Oops. With the investigation. if so it's probably fucking gabe I'm sorry for being emotional just now. he's being such a ross right case, now god, I, I can't believe it i know okay so disease symptoms probably on her way out severe. i agree that's not good if we find anything out i'll be sure to let you know immediately you do that it may maybe give us maybe we'll find out from Gabe case. or something like that. I don't know. Oh, I've got a few theories in my head. I feel like things are gonna start linking together the more of the cases we play. Yes, yes. 
Yeah. Turns yeah. out well, <laughs> all of our doctors are all the villains. <laughs> We're all terrible people. All right. So driver's account will mix with the post-mortem fractures. Fractured in the accident with the so this is concrete the evidence right now. We know where a majority of the badgering, uh, battering, excuse me. If it's solid evidence, then it's fact. Yeah, We've confirmed we got it. confirmed that both those injuries occurred after death. Correct. From those facts, it's clear that when the victim was on the bridge... She was very much alive. Yep. I mean, already dead. Ta-da! So, Solid yeah. evidence. So she was dead, got run over by a truck, crack, crack. Yes. Even if she hadn't been Both of the, the outcomes truck, in my brain are very sad. That means that the driver was telling the truth. It's gonna get sad. It's yep. gonna get sinister. Yep, 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 yep. The dark truth at the center of this case. Murdered and then had her corpse dumped on that bridge. I don't know that just yet. We'll Who says it's murder, little guy? There's a lot of stuff that's not adding up still. Can we do the mysterious bloodstains with the uh, medicine? We can do the victim's hospital record with uh, the driver's... Wait, no, nope, nope, nope. The parent's hospital True. records. These two do share a common link. The victim's hospital records say she'd been at the hospital since... Uh, one month ago. Two months ago. Oh, two months, excuse me. She stopped going yes, a month ago. Two months ago. For the month before her death, she'd been treated at the hospital. Now, the parent's hospital records say they'd been visiting the hospital since... That two months ago. Yes. They also started visiting the hospital two months ago. Mm. Veronica was going for migraines, seems like a connection. mood swings, and vomiting blood. And her That's parents a lot. were going after suffering frequent injuries. A month before the victim was found dead, the parents suddenly stopped That's schizophrenia. These injuries. That's some kind of uh, violent Ooh. neurological disease. I hope there's no connection here. That's not good. She may not have been able to control the fact that she was abusing her parents. We take bizarre coincidence and, uh... Wait, where was it? <laughs> not there! Victim starts. Oh, no, wait. Fractured finger. Bring it over to little guy. For me, little guy. Oh, I we probably could have done this a while ago. <laughs> probably. Oh, oh, sure. What do you mean by in detail, though? Okay. I'm asking if I she basically to took her pinky and snapped it herself, or if or somebody else did death. it. Before or after death, I got a hunch that it... Uh, yeah. This must have happened while she was still alive. Oh. Take a look at this area here. You can see where it started healing. Great. I thought as much. Well, then there you All go. Right, thank you. It hmm. wasn't while she was being moved, like the last time. Okay. So what happened, then? There's no knowing yet if this has anything to do with this case. But I do know now that this fracture occurred while she was still alive. Then it was the broken pinky that killed her? <laughs> oh, God. Maybe uh, there's a bizarre coincidence yes, behind this. Yeah. Be related. According to the charts, the victim's symptoms were migraines, hallucinations, mood swings, vomiting blood. It might have been mopsis, in a fit of rage from a mood most swing. Importantly, Increased aggression. Yep. Yes. Sudden aggressive behavior. Might have that ripped is, an earring out and punched a mirror. Violently. Her conditions must have worsened severely a month before her death. That is, her violent tendencies would have increased in frequency and oh. severity. In addition to that is the fracture in Veronica's finger. This is the only injury she had while alive. Aggressive That's bipolar a disorder. People hit things with their fists. Mixed with schizophrenia. On the other hand, the parents. Maybe it's anime bipolar. Like signs of abuse. If I were to consider I'm happy! Points, I'm going to kill you. Were... Ah, Yandereitis. But, Veronica's fractured finger and her parents' injuries are connected in that Veronica was beating her parents. Right. The hospital records of both the victim and her parents. Ooh. They show that Veronica she just wanted to be a UFC fighter her parents. and used her parents as the punching bag. Because she couldn't get a win otherwise. Yeah. All right, well, there's solid That's evidence. Solid evidence. It's I don't, I, getting worse. I don't like worse. it, but it's solid evidence. It's getting worse. Oh, it's yeah. It's getting worse. Okay, we got uh, the victim's charts that we can mix with the mysterious mm. bloodstains. Yes, we can put these two facts together. According to the chart from the hospital, the victim's condition... Uh, she vomit. died in the presence of her parents. If she had continued to vomit blood after her hospital visit. Her disease killed her. Blood stains on her clothing. Ugh. Yep, well, there's that. Yes, 
Thus, these blood stains were caused by the blood that she had. So bombed. wait, why would you? I mean, to to so, not think that you killed your own daughter, Jesus. Maybe that might have something to do with the unknown pathological we change. The physical state from this information. First, the Is it guilt? <laughs> There's no knowing what. Oh no, show. the guilt's taking over her bones. However, if this discoloration of the bones shows the existence of a focus. It's safe to assume that whatever uh, disease oh. she was suffering from was in an advanced state. Yeah. The massive okay. blood stains on her clothes came from her vomiting blood. There hmm. aren't many conditions that cause that much hemorrhaging. From these two points alone, I conclude that she yeah, was, she was dying. in terminal condition. She was indeed dying. And Even died. she hadn't been killed, she was already on the brink of death. I see. I feel sorry for her. That's the case, then why? Precisely. Why We've got more we, we got more questions. I think we need to go back to the scene. Yeah, did that's not a kidnapping. Kidnap her? Or did that even happen? That's a story. What do you mean? Whatever the case, she was definitely taken from her home before she died. The question now is what happened between the time she was taken until the car accident. Right. Alright. <laughs> we gotta put two and two together then. All right, I'm down. I'm down. We finally, be able to see the real truth behind this case, little guy. I'm going to check the victims. We're basically following this case backwards. I you might want to, so right, right. Now we're gonna fill in the last gap. What happened hmm. right before Someone she prepared. died? And what kind of you know, I kind of like that we get that phone call from the deceased at the beginning because then it can be taken multiple ways. And once you finally figure out the proper way that that's used in context, it is very, very sad. It's also an effective hook. Oh, that too, yes. I'm impressed. Being able to hear the last words of your victim. <laughs> that already answers questions. That already intrigues you. It's already mysterious and do all that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then the evidence starts to piece together properly and you just feel really smart. Theories come in and out and then a clear yeah. Picture starts forming in your mind, and then you you feel proud that you're solving the mystery, but then the look of horror when you see what the mystery will truly and hold. Then Eureka! All right, we got we got aluminum powder to go uh, dust for fingerprints now. Perfect. Let's go do that. Let's go do that. Yeah, I want to see what happens for the last of the solid evidence. To her room. All right, aluminum powder. Let's take a look here. I'm da, gonna say da, mirror. Da, da. All right. We don't have the Altoids to search for prints. I think it's pretty obvious. Carpet? I thought that would do something. Uh, how about the door, maybe? All right. Or maybe over here on all the all the stuff. Hmm. Let me no blood here. there. Aha! Oh, that seems like something. It's something. it's very much something. These are all the same fingerprints. It's likely they belong to the victim. No. Hey, these are fingerprints. They look like footprints. Fingerprints on the floor. What does that mean? She was oh, pushing off the walls in <laughs> zero gravity. She was crawling on the floor as she was dying, <laughs> puking her actual guts and blood out. Interesting. Fuck me. Yes. She was probably crawling on the floor to move around. The prints indicate she was heading towards... The door. Yeah, that's what it seems like. Into the hallway, yeah. There we go. There it is. The prints on the floor lead to the room's entrance. They're even under the mat. What's underneath the mat? Nothing. nothing. It, oh. What could this mean? Yeah, it's nothing. Literally nothing. <laughs> Unless... <gasps> Look at all that blood. Where she died. Just as I thought. These are blood stains. They must be Veronica's. Considering the fact so far, these blood stains must have been caused by... The parents! <laughs> the parents' injuries! That oh, man, the no. man! Don't you hate when mom and dad just come in and they keep bleeding on your floor from when you punch them? Mom. Dear God! It's blood that she vomited. Yes. Veronica's clothing was covered in blood that she had vomited. The amount of blood here is the more clothing than or the blood? loss in most people. Oh, the blood, of course. Yes. But there's something I mean, she's basically a shirt stains. printer. <laughs> it's a deadly disease. So she puked up so much blood, she practically exsanguinated. 
Yep. If there was one reason for the bloodstains to be shaped like this, it would have to be... Oh. The door was closed. The Veronica was painting. <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> what the fuck? She was an artist, right? An artist, yeah. Lethal blood loss. Yes. This door was closed when Veronica was vomiting blood. That's why the blood spread unevenly. Ouch. This door had been closed when Veronica was vomiting blood. Thus. So if we close the door. Oh. The room is now in the same condition as it was when that happened. She's scratching the door. Oh. Yeah. Blood stains inside the scratch marks. <laughs> Ew. Looking at the shape and location of these scratches. Oh, this is getting are... rough. Drilling. Biting. Scratching. Aww. Yes, these are traces that someone had clawed at the door. On top of that, it was done with such desperation that their own nails And possibly away. broke their finger. Well, let's get the hell out of here. Please. Try and put together this sordid scene. I think I've got the picture. Yep, I think uh, we can definitely paint a conclusion from what we have gathered here. What say we do that? Yeah, surprisingly, finding a skeleton in a park was not a murder. It was a river. Oh, sorry, in the riverbed. All right, so lethal blood lost with hidden scratches. These are at the entrance to the room. The door was closed when Veronica vomited blood. That, along with the scratches on the inside of the door, there's just one sad I think I just pieced together the M.O. too. Mm. Also sad. She was locked in. <sighs> and that is a sad fact we can't turn away from. Yes. Blech. Veronica was prevented from leaving here. Writhing in pain and unable to open the door, she lost a lethal amount of blood and died uh, right I gotta tell you, this is indeed a Law and Order type she case. She kidnapped and killed. Probably even SVU, sheesh. Benson would, like, eat this case up. Yes. Meaning? We can deduce the victim's condition yeah, within this she wasn't killed facts directly. Together. Veronica was crawling on the floor. It's likely that this is because of the mysterious I mean, she is kind of like Olivia Benson right now, I'd say. Around there, it yeah. sapped her strength to the point that she was unable to even stand. She had an attack of her disease inside this room. But it was yep. locked. And it was locked. <sighs> Alright. Now we take a look at the deceased voice and now it paints an even more sinister picture. So. Um... Got you it. want to try and reach a conclusion Delicious. here? Yeah, I got it. All right, here we go. Let's put together the truth of what happened here. Precisely. Let's put everything together here. Can do. A woman's skeleton was found 50 kilometers downriver of the city. Case closed. All right, let's go. The victim's name is Close Veronica the book. Cage. She was 23 years old. She was suffering from some sort of illness. It caused what illness? Maybe we'll find another case. Maybe it's not important. I really hope we find out in a different case, because that just when she sounds on, awful. She snapped and turned violent. This card shows the truth of that emotional state. What shows off Veronica's violence? Uh, most likely. How about the Veronica's violence card? <laughs> ay ay Yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> that's more than just a couple of punches. That's straight up episodes this same disease finally caused her own death as well and how do this i know this shows well of that final attack yes what shows off this sudden attack how about the sudden attack card how about the sudden attack card <laughs> yes there were traces of blood at her room's entrance oh, i don't want to see that during the attack, she Don't show me that. This is rated T? This is rated T. This is this is a pretty the hard T, though, I gotta say. Yeah, I'm pushing the lines, man. Eventually, her strength gave out and she collapsed. Yeah, they gave us a nude scene right at the beginning she of Maria's pants. And now we've got to some to these agonizing deaths I here. I mean, it However, wasn't actual nudity. It was implied. Was I mean, Duncan Rampa and this Zero Escape would be like, Jesus. Tone it down, guys. Good lord. 
All uh, right. Locked door. No. Wait, what? Sealed door. Oh, sealed door. Excuse me. <sighs> I forgot. You needed to listen to the door. Or, In her or, or. consciousness. Ah, oh, yes, she yes. The door. No, we gotta wait for the seal to pop. But there we she go. died there, and the culprits carried her body out. The proof of this is on this card. What's the proof of her abduction? The abduction. <laughs> the proof <laughs> of the abduction, abduction card. card. <laughs> exactly. Oh, the man. earring caught on something while she was being carried. You know, I've seen this particular situation in movies, shows, a very uh, dark story where parents find a sigh of relief when their kid dies. You'd love Law and Order, then. Got tons of stories like that. I didn't say I liked it. I didn't say I was I was not being sarcastic. Lust did not see the earring among the mirror shards. The body. I was tracing the mirror shards. Yeah, exactly. It's like, Miss, this is sad. I don't want to be here. Their don't look away. No, I don't look. <laughs> it kicks the dirt. Don't don't no, here. eyes up here. Eyes don't look but away. Scared off by a pair of oncoming headlights. So this was to make it look like this she died bag, sleeping on the road, the throwing all the responsibility on the poor truck driver. <sighs> so instead of making it look truck. like you were bad parents the to an even could worse not child. Avoid the body and ran over her. The driver believed he had killed her and dumped the body. Convenient hole opened up for him to just Ironically, say, Snoop. what he did only completed the But he didn't think about that. Nah, he wanted to be a strong man in front of a dead this lady. Yeah, what's the way you think? Gonna call me later? Uh, uh, never mind. Uh, I've got blood on my shoulder. This is weird. Right here. The truth behind the fractures show the truth Hiding behind the fractures. Is a crime, but the driver wasn't the murderer. Nope. The ones responsible are those who Oh, this is where the call comes in. That's so good. Mm -hmm. The She's very so last good. piece of Not evidence. Yep. And come. now it just puts one no! more disgusting no! cherry on top of this shit Sunday. No. Yeah. Help me. This is the uh. was cut short. All right, book the parents. You were right. I was right. Neskaldamus was cooking, just didn't know how know to get there. The want. Yeah, there, you're just but throwing a bunch of shit at the wall and saw out. and saw what stuck. But hey, that's the beauty of visual novels I'm and mysteries. You gotta correct. You gotta guess. You theorize. See, the thing is, when you throw enough darts, you need to figure out how the dart got there. <laughs> Hello. Oh, this should be satisfying. Punch their other eye! The medical examiner. What brings you here? You're coming downtown. This is Your like a Melinda Warner arrest people. Which would be funny and cool. She By the way, Melinda Warner kicks ass. Shouted, and she I will not accept any door. slander on her. She tried to escape so terribly that her own nails tore off. Why didn't and now they left the scratches door. on the door. We'll never resell this house. There was no choice. <laughs> we wanted her to be happy. Uh, that, uh, yeah, I got the call. That's not happy. We wanted her to be normal. That's uh, that's we a tough love, would... if you want to call it her that. Death may have been inescapable. Well, you know, but murder's cheaper than hospice, you right? Her death in order to protect yourselves. I don't know. Would this be considered murder that or neglect? Can never be forgiven. I think it was murder. They wouldn't arrest her if it, they wouldn't be arresting them if it was neglect. That's true. I mean, this is meditated. I mean, look at this. They tried to cover it up. They took her That's body true. out there. That's guilt. This was murder. Did you suffer? <sighs> Soon I will know for myself. What? What? Miss Kimishima, your test results have come back. <gasps> I see. Let me ask you up front. How long do I have until my flame goes out? Two minutes. <sighs> it's an old candle. <laughs> One a minute, year, fifty-nine. Best. Maybe six months. Maybe two weeks. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe right now. Thank you, Doctor. 
Bang. <laughs> <laughs> That's... Oh, no. Uh, Dr. Kimishima, the helicopter's here Great. to take you to the lab. So, we're dying. Yeah. Doesn't help that this is the last trauma right. game. Thank you. Not counting under the knife, too. Uh... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, you see that, too? She does, too. Hmm? Uh huh? Rosalia. What is this? Someone's name? Dr. Kimishima, are you all right up there? Uh, yes, I'm fine. I'll be right down. Rosalia. Rosalia or Rosalia. Rosalia. That was her favorite Pokemon. Hmm. Well. Oh, man. <laughs> well, it's they close. They really it's like uh, spacing these out, don't they? Yep. All right, let's take a look what we got coming up. Looks like we've got... More Tomoe. We've got Tomoe. Then uh, we've and got... And that's it. We've, 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 we've got Tomoe. Oh, and, and then, then Gabe. And then Gabe. Okay. Like that there. Okay, we'll do so. Oh, and we can actually get to the first Doctor again, finally. Uh, almost. Almost. Ah, oh, shit. We can do some Hank, too, so... Okay. Looks like we've got Tomoe, Hank, and Gabe next time on Trauma Team. Leave it to a game called Trauma Team to trauma dump all over my emotions. So we got the team part, and now we've just had the trauma. <laughs>